When initially setting up the box wireless system, check that the four transmitter antennas are firmly hand tightened on the transmitter. The smaller fifth antenna is for return data only and not needed for most applications. The small flexible antennas can be straight up and down, but by putting them in different positions or feathering the antennas, we have found that it increases performance. If you are using the Meridian in an ENG or stadium style setting, the larger 1-foot ANT205 antennas are recommended to increase performance. There are two ways to power the system. An AC-DC power cable with a 4-pin Hiroshi connector, or directly applying an Anton Bauer or V-Lock battery. When you power the system, it will turn on automatically. The first line on the home screen will show the input selected. In most applications, this will be SDI. If you are cabled into the SDI output of the camera and the camera is on, or you have an SDI signal going to the transmitter, you will see SDI OK. The second line of the home screen will show you that you are in broadcast mode, which means the transmitter will transmit to as many receivers as you have tuned in to that frequency and channel. The third line will show the frequency and channel you are on. To change the frequency and channel, you must go to the channel menu page. To get to the menu pages, press the E button. The up and down keys next to the star and the E scroll to the different pages of the menu. The first menu shows which source the transmitter will input, SDI, composite, or component. You will notice pattern as an option. This is a built-in test pattern that can be sent to the receiver allowing you to test the system prior to having a video input. This pattern is generated using 720p. By pressing the arrow keys next to the screen, it will change the input you select. To get to the next page, press the down key next to the E. This will take you to the frequency and channel page. On this page, you can manually change the frequency and channel by pressing the arrow keys to the right of the screen. On this page, you will notice an auto select option. However, we recommend staying in the manual select mode which is the default position. Pressing the down key again takes you to the region menu page. The regions available include European, US, Custom 2, and Custom. The transmitter and receiver must be on the same region and frequency and channel for the two to connect. Pressing the down key again takes you to the menu level page showing the menu level user. Other menu levels include admin and factory. For these advanced settings, refer to your user guide. At the bottom of the transmitter, there is a small white pot that can be adjusted to control the internal fan speed. It should be kept at 100% if at all possible, unless sound becomes an issue. Please remember to turn it back up at the end of any sound issues. The default audio is SDI. Choosing to use the stereo 5-pin mini XLR on the transmitter allows you to input analog audio. The transmitter will embed the analog audio into the SDI stream and send it analog as well. If you choose to use the analog audio option, you must change the setting in the corresponding menu page under the admin menu level. Please refer to the user guide to access the admin pages. Pressing the star key takes you back to the home screen. Holding the star key down powers the system on and off manually.